Hello, long time no see. Um, and that is because I kind of quit vlogging. Um, so I want to start by explaining that a little bit. Uh, so I actually did vlog when I was on vacation last February. And if you look at YouTube, you'll see that those vlogs are non-existent there. Uh, the reason for that is what I'm going to explain right now. So, okay, I'm sorry. It's a little bit rough to talk about still, but, um, okay. Well, I might as well just get into it. So, let's rewind back to when I was 16. So, when I was 16, I um, was visiting a family friend with my mom and my brother. It was winter time. I ran across the street to go meet my mom's friend and her daughters or whatever. Uh, and I slipped on a patch of black ice and I dislocated my knee. Well, that was sort of the first step into what n now I know is the, what I can only describe as hell that I live with most of the time now. So, um, I didn't know what it was then, but I did have like surgery on one of my knees, um, at one point when I was 16 still. Um, I couldn't do any sports in high school, um, even gym class I ended up getting out of for like the last two years, even though I kept trying to go. They finally just told me, stop coming because you keep injuring yourself repeatedly. Um, but I didn't know what the problem was. I went to an orthopedist. He basically told me I didn't need the surgery that I had had and that I basically have this hereditary condition that he didn't name for me at the time, um, but that I have this hereditary condition and that I just had issues with my joints and that it was something I was going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. And at the time he prescribed physical therapy and it helped a lot, like to the point where by the end of physical therapy, all of the dislocations had stopped. Um, Mind you, I was going through a whole bunch of crap when I was younger anyway. Um, so I had also, like, dealt with binge eating disorder and other eating disorders. Um, binge being the worst, but also, like, anorexia. Um, anyway, TMI. But those things, like, um, I feel like kind of went in hand in hand with the other issues, like the genetic issues I was having with my joints. Um, but I actually lost a bunch of weight once I had gone to a therapist and dealt with some of the underlying issues as to why I had gained weight when I was younger. Um, so I lost weight and I went, or I had gone through physical therapy and suddenly all of these problems with my joints seemed like they were gone. Um, so that lasted a while, but over time they progressively came back again, and I would say they sort of, like, hit ahead, um, around the time I came back to the United States, like maybe a few months into coming back to the United States after I had been in Korea. So, um, yeah, I was, like, suffering in silence, though, and I didn't say anything to anybody. I was sort of afraid of what was happening to me, and I didn't really have a lot of money at the time, and so I didn't go see a doctor about it or anything. Uh, so fast forward to I come back to Korea. Well, it finally reached a point where I was in pain so much that I was just like, I have to see a doctor about this. Like, I have to find out what is wrong. And I finally got diagnosed with what the actual condition is that I have. So I suffer from an uh, auto-inflammatory, um, sort of autoimmune um, arthritis called 
ankylosing spondylitis, which um, basically it's sort of a long-term thing that affects your um, spine mostly, like your back and the joints of your spine. But in someone's case, like my case, where it was early onset, it also can affect joints in other parts of your body, like pretty much all joints in your body. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the underlying thing with this disease is that it's related to autoimmune diseases, auto-inflammatory diseases, and pretty much I was in pain all the time. Like, my uh, knees have not really been dislocating like they used to when I was younger, but now I just have, like, severe pain. So, um, the worst, crappiest part is, um, that this sort of condition, like, when it's early onset like it is with me, uh, it will basically, um, it'll increase my mortality rate. So, like, I'll probably die young, uh, because of this stupid disease, so it freaks me out a little bit. Sorry if I keep looking down and it looks crazy. It's because... I was nervous about what to say, so I just sort of like pulled stuff up on my phone about my condition just so that I wouldn't like stutter along. So sorry about that. Um, but anyway, what does this have to do with me and vlogging and stuff? So here's the issue is like I was learning most of this stuff from the doctor around the time that I last went traveling and so like I realized certain things like now if I travel anywhere um, I sort of have to take with me like a mobility device like a cane and I was just learning to maneuver the cane on the last trip and like I was embarrassed to be seen using it in vlogs and all, like on camera and like there were times where so I was traveling with Chang Ho and there were times where him and I would get into fights and it was mostly because I was just like frustrated and angry about being in pain or about the, this stupid disease. So it was like a really rough trip and so I just didn't really feel like e like editing those videos and reliving all of that crap and feeling those feelings again. But like since then I've just sort of learned to accept the way things are and like try my best to do what I can to like make things as like as best as they can be. Like I I, I can't really say like make things way better or anything because like things won't be perfect ever but they can still be better um like I've talked to my doctor um we've settled on my meds like I'm finally on set meds that don't cause me me like a, like adverse medical side effects uh so there's that and um, he has suggested that I try to lose weight, but he's told me like, oh, I know it's gonna be really hard for you to lose any weight because of my age and like the fact that because of my condition being like early onset, um, the pain is in all my joints. So it makes like exercise really, really difficult. Like I'm in pain if I go for a walk too long uh, I'm in pain if I stand for more than 20 minutes. I'm in pain if I sit for more than like 30 to 60 minutes. Um, but I do what I can still. Um, I, I do push because like I'm still a teacher, um, which actually is a benefit to my condition because it allows me to be moving around. Um, like I'm usually not sitting for more than 60 minutes at a time. Uh, I'm usually not standing in one place for more than 20 minutes at a time. It's like sort of the perfect situation for me. But yeah, so that is why I sort of like fell off the internet for a while. Like I wasn't, like I had an email list for like friends and family. I wasn't sending things anymore after I told them initially really. 
Um, I stopped posting videos, even though I had just started, kind of. But I want to get back to doing it again, so... Like, I feel like the most way, to, or the best way to do that is just to be upfront and authentic about what the situation is. Uh, I am going to post the Japan video that I made, um, the regular, like, stuff that I did in Japan. Uh, it's maybe only one day worth of footage, just because, like I said, it was a rough trip. Um, I was in a lot of pain, like, it wasn't as fun as it could have been. Uh, I did take footage when I went to Disneyland, but I went to edit it today, and I just did not like it. Like, honestly, it was just... It was choppy and all over the place, and it wasn't very good footage, so I think I'm just gonna scrap it, and then, um, which I apologize for, uh, but I promise, like, obviously I'm gonna go back to Disney Park eventually. So, yeah, like, the footage will be there eventually. Um, I am gonna try to do better, <laughs> as better, like, you know, as good as I can do given the situation, but I know my limitations now and I know how, to, I'm like getting better at handling them, so. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that for now. Um, sorry if I'm rambling too much and if I've said um a dozen times. So, I guess with that said, I'm out of here for now. But I promise I will upload something else very, very soon. In fact, I might record it right after I stop recording this. Um, actually, maybe a little bit later. Alright. Peace.